Blessed love, manners and respect. Do give thanks and praise for life. This is the Mindset Program. I just am your host. And I'm here. It's a great honor to be here with the Honorable Muta Baruka. Yeah, man. Give thanks, Muta. man. Rastafari. Yes, sir. Give thanks. First and foremost, I want to congratulate you on your lifetime oh, achievement. Oh, yeah, I want. repent. Yes. Yeah, but we don't get it yet. We don't get it yet. No, it's the 24th. Right, the mindset, thought provoking. You know. I'm your host, and I'm your Ida Star, and we're there with our brand new mindset series live on the YouTube. Subscribe, Ida Star Mindset Channel, YouTube. Blessed love. Mindset, honorable, you know, give thanks. Yes, for life, God that had the greatest position above all things. Yes, another day we're there, and yeah, we just want to touch base with the item. There are a few things uh, we want to utter, you understand? And if it's the first time the item are tuning to the channel, my name is I just started the mindset. I want to welcome the item in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Yeselassi I the first. Please um, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. So whenever time we drop something like this, the item will be notified. Alright? Yes, I saw. So. Oh, yeah, look, pan in at the day, yeah. Sunday. Sunday afternoon. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Outside is is cold, you know, as we approach um, the winter season. Currently in autumn now, and yeah. So, um, my people, you have a lot of ones out there who they don't like to take responsibility, Zin for certain actions, certain things that have been said or certain things that might have been done Zin, in the past and people like to throw blame or pass the blame not accepting you know their responsibility now as a as a people as a race you know the African black community within the diaspora and also on the continent. See, we've been through, we've been through a lot, see, and we never just reach in a disposition by, by choice or by chance. You know, yeah, we never reach down their position yeah, just like that. So, people have to take responsibility and people have to be accountable. You understand, for their actions, yeah, for their actions, people have to be responsible and people have to be accountable. You understand? Now, I they have to. Um, put on my people them because I love my people Zane and we respect the rest of the peoples around the world you understand and yeah we love everyone but I see that we love everyone and most of all we don't love ourselves we don't love we community where we come out of. We don't love our African self. See? Yeah, most of us we don't love our African self. And that is why we are, we, we, we are in the position that we find ourselves in today. See? I blame. We are, we are looking for blame today. Because a lot of people, as I say, love to blame other people. For their wrongdoings and don't want to be responsible 
and don't want to be accountable. See, you have to take responsibility for something that you have done wrong. And when I really dare to find fingers, we are going straight across the board and we are not going to sugarcoat anything. Because that is, you know, that wouldn't be real. So, up to today, Europe still don't want to take responsibility for their action in the slave trade and also after the slave trade when Africans have now settled on the soils of America, South and North Central, the Caribbean Islands, what happened after the whole transatlantic trade? And now we find ourselves in America, in the Caribbean. What Europeans did after that, they don't want to take responsibility. Zin? And they don't want to be accountable for their actions. Now, how did it reach to the point that Europeans had to take Africans from the shores of Africa to the Western Hemisphere? As we hear, it's a trade, the slave trade. So, what was what was given in return in exchange for africans to come across here in the western hemisphere because it was a trade you know those trade and is one party a trade it, it's it's two party or three party in the trade now Based on the knowledge and the understanding, what did our African brothers, what did they get in return for trading Africans across the Atlantic seas? All these things, what did they get in return? What was it? That is a sellout mentality. Trade is just a pretty, a sophisticated word. See? But that was a sellout move. Now we also hear that a lot of Africans fought against Europeans because they saw them as invaders. Stealing, robbing life to the enslaved in the Western world. See? Now, mind you, before even all of this that I'm saying, the Arabs was there before doing all that as well. See? So, there's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of things that we have to take responsibility for as a people because it's all good and well we can say why the Europeans did this to us and them continue to, you know, these things is continue to perpetuate in itself into today's, you know, in today's world. But we have to take some responsibility for our actions. See, because we reach yesterday, you know, what about the, 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 the 25 million that died in the Atlantic that had to be thrown overboard? See? 
that had to jump overboard because they didn't want to come and face the horrific treatment that was that was that was poised for African region on the shores of the, the, the Western Hemisphere. Some of them jump overboard, pregnant woman, woman with them, them just born baby. Throw overboard, them jump overboard because them never want to come and be lynched and burned. Now, who should take responsibility for that? Who should take responsibility for that? Of course, Europeans have to take responsibility. But what about I and I, African people, the role that Africans play in all of that? We have to take responsibility also. And not just say, boy, it's the Europeans them alone partake in this thing. Because today, we still see African leaders being bought out and being sold out. See? So it seems like it's a trend. It's something that keeps perpetuating itself. Even on the island of Jamaica, the leaders there are bought out and sell out. See? Yeah. So, who have to take responsibility? Should take responsibility and don't just blaming, blaming. Who is to be blamed for this? No, because we there so no one. We have. We have people who we know, people who we associate ourselves with, see? And people will do things and say things. You hear me, I say? And before them take responsibility, because a one might do something, see? And them well and know exactly what they're doing, see? And before. Them take responsibility for the actions where them are do. Them rather for blame somebody else and say, boy, is that man or is that woman? It's because of what they did or because of. But you should take responsibility for also what you have done. See, you have to take responsibility for what you have done and don't blame people be accountable be accountable for your action you might you might do something wrong see and nobody in life to do something wrong and then them have to get the blame for it but that's where accountable being accountable comes in and that's where the responsibility comes in because you know I forgot face face a responsibility yeah this never meant to be a long video Zin yeah it's Sunday and you know we have some things to do but this is part of what we have to do today still you understand? Yeah, man, we must stop blame other people for the wrongs them that we do. See, we need to take responsibility. Stop passing the buck. See, not because you 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 you, you don't like an individual. You go and create a whole scene. See. Just to make that individual look, look, look away, look bad to others. You create a thing. 
you mess up something. Then you want to tell other people, you want to sit down with other people and say, boy, you know, I know so the thing really go. I, 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 him do it or she do it, you know. When you well and know that is you that have done it. And you don't want to take responsibility. You don't you, you feel so ashamed in yourself to say why. You know, I made it do it and I make a mistake. You make a mistake and you mess up some things. But you never meant for it to be messed up like that. You have to tell people these things. But when you don't address it and tell people these things and you sit down in a conference and you make it out that you are the one who is not at fault and that other person is the one that is at fault. That means you, you, know, you are a wicked individual. Because you try to conspire and rise up and rise up other people against one individual or two individuals. When you know deep down that you are the issue, you are the problem, you are the one that has always created any problem, any issue. See? And we have to look in ourselves, people, and we have to know that yo, if you do something wrong and, you, and, and it's probably a genuine mistake, you have to hold up your hand and say, yo, you know, I did something wrong and me never meant for it to turn out like that, but this is what me did I try to achieve. See? But you don't turn your mistake, your error, that you create and then blame it on someone else or say it's someone else that done it. You're a mischievous person, a mischievous individual. See? People, don't be like that because you see where we are come from. We now come from, yeah, we are come from the greatest continent in the world that everybody wants to be a part of. Everybody wants to get a slice of today. We are the greatest people on this planet. We, the African people, are. See? But it's how to get back to that greatness because... We still have that greatness. We do see a glimpse of that greatness within our people. We do see it. And why we see glimpses? Because our greatness is being suppressed by others who don't want us to excel, who don't want us to elevate, who don't want the rest of the world to see our greatness. Because they feel threatened. They feel threatened. That if we become great again. The same thing that they did to us. We are going to do it to them. But remember. Before any of this happened to us. We was never a part of doing this to other people. Much less ourselves. I don't know how did we fall in the trap that we could do something so bad and horrific to ourselves. But people, we need to look in ourselves and stop blaming other people for our mistakes and for our errors. We need to take responsibility for our errors and for our mistakes. We have to be accountable for these things. See? We have to be accountable for these things. So watch your mindset, family. 
I don't have a reason no longer upon this topic. Zane, let me know what the item I say, what the item thoughts on this thing. Zane, and this I go right across the board. Mindset family, manners and respect, peace and love. I hope the item have a good, strong forwarding. Today is the first Sunday. Zane, today, today is what? The second Sunday of the month. I saw it go? Yeah, second Sunday of the month. So, mindset, manners and respect, you know, peace and love, and as a manners, vertical within there. Rastafari.